Hi, I'm Danica McKellar, author of Do Not Open This Math Book. It's full of fun and easy ways for kids to understand addition and subtraction. Because let's face it, some of the new methods being taught in today's classrooms can be confusing. But we're going to clear it right up and have a great time doing it. You know, when it comes to math, one of the most important things to learn is all the different ways you can make 10 from just two numbers. <clears throat> Danica? Uh, yes, Mr. Mouse. What is it? Sorry to interrupt, but this smells like a scheme to trick us into doing extra math. Or it smells like Wisconsin cheddar. I can't really tell. Well, that would be a good thing, right? <laughs> Touché, McKellar. Touché. <laughs> Knowing all the ways to make 10 from two numbers is so important for being good at math. When I was a little girl, my mom used to hold up 10 colored pencils between her two hands and shift them one at a time so I'd learn more easily. I even made up a rhyme for it. One and nine, or two and eight, making 10 is really great. Three and seven, four and six, holding carrots, pencils, or sticks. Ooh, ooh, even cheese sticks? Five and five, zero and 10, this is fun, let's do it again. Okay, I'll admit, that was fun. Now which way do you like to make 10 out of two numbers? I've always liked three plus seven because three is my favorite number. I like five plus five equals 10 because it reminds me of my stinky toes. Get off the stage, mouse. Remember to check out the other videos in this series. They're full of great tips and tricks right from Do Not Open This Math Book.